In July 2010, a brand new skateboard trick exploded onto the internet called the Merlin Twist. Corey Kennedy did a switch frontside 180 front foot impossible. It's a remarkable trick and had never been done before. Or had it. Actually, this trick was relatively common 25 years ago. Let's take a look at the history of the Merlin Twist. Okay, first of all, let's define exactly what a Merlin Twist is. In the videos, you can clearly see it's a front tie 180 with a front foot impossible. But a lot of people will jump in and say that it has to be switch or it doesn't count. But requiring a trick to be switch is kind of ridiculous. What do you call it if you do it in your normal stance? Do you call it switch switch and therefore regular? I mean, the name Merlin Twist is already ridiculous enough as it is. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to say that the Merlin Twist is just in your regular stance. A lot of people find front foot impossibles easier to switch anyway because you can wrap it like a normal impossible with what would usually be your back foot. And with certain tricks like this, it doesn't really matter that it's switch because they find it easier in that stance, like vario heels, laser flips, that's just how it is. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, with that out of the way, let's try to figure out who invented it. Our first candidate is Ocean Howell. Now here he is in 1990. At the time, he's mostly doing tech curb stuff that everyone was into. He was also skating a big board and he was still throwing front foot impossibles. All right, let's see what he's got. Uh, that was pretty close, but that's actually just a big spin. Let's look at his next video part in 1992. Wow, that was unquestionably a 180 front foot impossible. Maybe the best one I've ever seen. Sure, he needed a couple of steps to get enough air time, but look at that board. It's still got rails on it, and it's probably nine inches wide. Okay, so let's put Ocean Howell down for 1992. Now, another name that gets thrown around as the inventor of the trick is John Montezzi. Here he is in the 1991 New Deal video. Let's take a look. Now, it looks like that one was just a big spin again. I watched his other video parts just to make sure, and it looks like he never did the whole trick, at least not on video. Now, the next candidate is probably the most promising one, Alex Mole. If you haven't seen any of his early footage, you need to check it out. He was doing the most crazy stuff when he was 16, like possibly inventing the Casper flip. Ed Templeton was doing them at the same time, but he wasn't doing them with a 180. I'll dig deeper into that in a future video. Anyway, front foot impossible variations are one of Alex's signature tricks. You'll see at least one in every video part he made. Even the 180 version is relatively common in his video parts, like these from 2005. But the question is, when did he do it first? Well, to beat Ocean Howell, he better have done it in 1991. So let's look at the 1991 video called 540. Here he is doing an endlessly long mini ramp line. You couldn't have a video at the time without tons of mini ramp action. So most of this stuff is pretty unremarkable, but then he does, wait, was that actually it? It sure looks like it. But don't worry, in case you didn't catch it, he does it again in the same line. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's a front side 180, front foot impossible being done 25 years ago in 1991. Here's the thing about NBDs. I see people claiming to be the first person to ever land something, usually on Instagram, but until you've seen The Deal Is Dead, 1281, Questionable, The Storm, and other early 90s skate videos, you don't really know that. There's a good chance that that trick was already done when you were in diapers. Now in this case, I don't think Corey Kennedy ever claimed to invent the trick, he just gave it a name. But the thing is, once he did, the trick suddenly became popular and people started doing it all over the world. If you want to be ahead of the game and start the next trend, look back to the 90s. Do a feather flip like Julio de la Cruz. Well anyway, that's all for this time. What other tricks would you like to see me take a look at in the future? Let me know in the comments. Until then, here are some more videos that you might like. Subscribe for new skating content like this every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.